Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're doing well on this lovely Saturday that we have here, but I thought I would begin my WWDC videos of the Apple WWDC with what you can expect from iOS 7 in terms of features and design. Now, there are many different rumors and concepts floating around there about the features that will be included in iOS 7, but I'm going to run through two articles here for you that will both be in the description below the video. Uh, from Simply Zesty and International Business Times. Now, these are just examples of features that you can include and what actually might be included in the OS. I do not say these will definitely be included, but hopefully, I'm hopeful they will be included, and if these are included, iOS 7 will definitely be a great step up from iOS 6 and will actually redefine the way that the operating system has been for many, many years here now on the iPhone and iOS devices. So first off, as you can see here, this is a concept design, um, iOS 7. Now the main concept in iOS 7 is a lack of the uh, current architecture of the layout of the operating system. Basically, instead of having realistic bubbly icons, they're actually going to be making it a flatter operating system. As you can see here, the icons are more like Windows Mobile operating system, where they're flatter and square shaped so that is a major change in the design and basically this is what people are expecting the actual design to be changed to but this might not be true they may have other overhauls all I know is there's definitely going to be a major major design in the actual operating system with this new design change will come widgets as you can see here in the second feature and widgets basically will be similar to Android. You can put them on your home screen. If you've ever jailbroken your device, I have videos on that on my channel, so check that out by clicking up in the upper left above this video to go to my channel or below the video. But basically, you'll be able to have widgets on your home screen, show your Facebook messages, iOS messages, text messages, change the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all other toggles, see the weather. They have widgets for everything you can have on your home screen that basically make it quicker to do things rather than opening the app and that's in Android I do think Apple will be including this in iOS 7 along with the design change as I already mentioned new look apps are another feature it's gonna be flatter as you can see here this is a calendar that is a mock-up that might actually be included in iOS 7 it's flatter there's more features you can see the vents below it and it looks slightly different you can add photos to it etc so the apps will look different uh, unlike they are today they will be more flat instead of looking like the actual realistic apps, such as when the notebook app or the note app looks like a notebook, they're going to be changing them to a flat uh, interface, which is kind of cool. I don't know how it's going to go over, but again, that's the new look. A uh, new lock screen will also come along with this new design. As you can see here, this is an example of a mock-up. You can just slide to unlock still. It might be on the bottom or the top. I'll show you the time still. You can see the weather. You'll be able to do the photo, etc. It'll be more customizable, essentially, is what these mock-ups are getting at. The music app might be completely redesigned. Here's an example of what it might look like in this picture, um, which is kind of cool. So that is uh, pretty neat. Again, sorry the article reloaded here. Again, apps old to new. As you can see, the icons are changing, and they'll actually have different ways of... Uh, looking at the interface. Customizable home screen along with widgets you'll be able to customize it a lot more kind of like a jailbroken device and Siri will have a lot more integration and a lot more features as you can see here this is an example you'll be able to integrate the whole operating system with Siri and control everything almost like Google search so this mock-up is a lot more like Google and those are some examples of features there I do think some of those will be included and we'll have to just wait and see till the WWDC for that article and for this article, again, as you can see here, it's talking about a new lock screen widgets. This one actually includes another major UI makeover as well. And mission control and other features. Mission control, if you don't know what that is, I'll show you on my Mac right here. You can go to the right or click the expose button and see all of your apps that are running in desktops. They'll be adding that to the iPhone. This is another example of what switching toggles on the home screen of the iPhone might look like. And this is another example of what widgets might look like. And this is an example of actually quick reply, which is another feature I hope they include, is if you jailbroke your device, this was a feature you were able to get there through certain apps like Byte SMS as well. But a notification will come up. You can actually reply without opening the message app and reply on the lock screen. 
uh, which is very cool. And this video will be in the description too with the link that you watch it. But overall, those are some features that you can expect um, with iOS 7 or that you might expect with iOS 7 based on concepts and rumors. Uh, includes a design change, uh, lock screen toggles, widgets, uh, all new things like that. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, hopefully they do release this with iOS 7. And be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more content. And if you want to actually reach me, the best ways to do that are through my Twitter, Facebook, my webpage, my, and my other channel, and my Google+, Plus, all in the description. So just check those out, follow those, message me there too. And stay tuned for more content on the WWDC. Expect more videos coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.